taking a line for a walk, to use the ubiquitous expression to describe the process of drawing, or coming at it the other way, I walk the line, to quote the Johnny Cash song. Our understanding of drawing is inexplicably bound up with the idea of the line. Perhaps that line is a simple line on a sheet of paper, a dividing line creating a left and a right, or an above and below. Or maybe the line is a line of thought, hard to pin down, but nevertheless somehow sensed. Or then again, perhaps it is literally the walking of a line. No matter in which way the line manifests itself, it will always be a line in time, will hold the passage of time. For time, its inexplicable and furtive nature, when fixed, will more often than not be but a line in one form or another. China, 2005. Lost in the crowd of shoppers on a busy central Beijing street stands an elderly monk. He has with him a bucket of water and a large Chinese brush on the end of a long wooden pole. He dips the brush into the bucket and begins to draw onto the pavement with the water in bold calligraphic characters, the first line of a traditional Chinese poem. As the characters appear on the pavement, wet and dark, against the lighter color of the dry concrete around. The shoppers busy about their affairs step aside, carefully walking around the poem, only to regroup again once beyond. As the monk moves further down the street, drawing line by line of the poem, the first line begins to evaporate, slowly disappearing in the summer heat. As it does, the throbbing crowd step back onto what is now dry pavement only to disperse again as each new wet line of the poem appears. At a certain point, the monk stops his work and stands waiting. It was the last line of the poem. Then slowly, even this line too dries out and the poem is gone. And once again, the monk is lost in the bustling crowd of busy shoppers.